My name is Anthony Ebatista. I'm a principal at Deloitte Consulting. Uh, I'm also the UiPath uh, Relationship Manager or sponsor within Deloitte. I've been very involved with our cognitive uh, practice and automation analytics uh, for the last few years and actually growing that to be a, a very large part of our business. You know, RPA in and of itself, just process automation, could be a race to the bottom, I like to say, because just automating things is one step, but getting the value, you know, getting the more intelligent functions, getting to the business cases that are sustainable. Next, sustainability is the next piece. As we bring in the cognitive elements, as we bring in text and speech and all other forms of interaction and start to put machine learning on top of that, it gets much more interesting um, because we then get to the real heart of how we change the future of work for our workers and really start to redo how we go to work, uh, how we work with each other, and how we bring human and machine together. So I really think that's the next exciting thing that's happening. Uh, in our relationship, what I'm excited about is um, we have leading thought in industry-specific solutions. We spend a lot of time in industry. Um, we also spend a lot of time in the technology ecosystem. So what we're excited about is UiPath's relationships in the technology ecosystem and how we can take those parts in a plug-and-play manner and, and make some really um, really interesting solutions that, that bring a lot of value. And I think we're going to start to see a separation and those of you who have capabilities who allow um, who allow advanced capabilities and you don't have to have them all yourself but the fact your product interfaces well with other technologies, um, that it's a pretty open platform. I think that's where RPA is going in the near and the midterm because RPA and automation of itself is not enough. We have to get to the uh, more advanced business cases, interactions, and then we have to learn. And just automating is not learning. So if you add the ML platforms, um, you add being predictive about what's going to happen and what we've learned, um, into RPA, then I think that's the near future and that's going to start taking off. We're already seeing that in our business.